What's up everyone? Fast I Bobby here. We are now in this the second game for this December 5th, 2022 NBA game day. So this is the battle between Milwaukee Bucks and uh, the home team or the Magic, which will actually start at 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. So that's going to be 8 o'clock a.m. here in Manila. I'm just inviting everyone who have not subscribed yet to our YouTube account or YouTube channel, Fast Baller. Please click on the subscribe button below. At the same time, hit on that bell logo. That way, automatically, you guys will be receiving notifications whenever new videos are uploaded. Right, by the way, the spread that is given in here is minus 9.5. And of course, that's actually given towards the Milwaukee Bucks, the visiting team. Now, let's take a look at the standings and the rankings of both teams first. Uh, both teams belong to the Eastern Conference. Milwaukee Bucks, they are at number two uh, with a record of 16 well, wins and six losses. While Orlando Magic, they are actually stuck at number 15 with the record of 5 wins and 19 losses. Alright, Orlando Magic, they would have the home court advantage on this. In terms of fatigue, well, it seems like both, both teams actually had their rest last night, so we can skip this part. Um, inst uh, instead, let's talk about uh, momentum. Talk about momentum, um, let's side with Milwaukee Bucks because the Milwaukee Bucks actually won their last game and they actually did that without Giannis, you know. Uh, they did that without their stars, majority of their stars. Um, and they actually uh, uh, they actually beat Charlotte Hornets hard, uh, which actually showed how good, how really good and how really deep Milwaukee Bucks, uh, the team of Milwaukee Bucks is. Now, Orlando Magic approaching this game, man. Uh, they are actually on an eight-game losing streak or eight-game losing slump. So, yeah, it's, I don't know what kind of you know what kind of spell uh, caught into them, but they are really in a huge struggle. All right, let's talk about the availability of the players or the health of both teams. Let's start with Orlando uh, with the um, Milwaukee Bucks. Um, I see two players confirmed out in here. Uh, those will be Serge Ibaka and Joe Ingles. While, uh, while I, oh, you know what? Uh, there's actually three. Uh, Bochamp is also confirmed out. So there are three players confirmed out for Milwaukee. And then uh, here are the list of those who are listed as questionable. Grayson Allen, um, Drew Holiday, Brooke Lopez, and Chris Middleton. I don't see Yanis here. So Yanis is playing. I don't see the name of Yanis in here in the you know in the injury list, so Yanis must be playing. Uh, for Orlando Magic, uh, here are the players who are out. I see five: Wendell Carter Jr., Gary Harris, Jonathan Isaac, Chuma Okk, Jalen Suggs. They are all out, and Mo Bamba is actually listed as questionable. All right, so um, for the past four uh, games that these two teams have had, Milwaukee Bucks actually took care of Orlando Magic. And they took care of them like like they are a bully, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, the average deficit that Milwaukee Bucks had uh, against Orlando for their past four games is at 18, 18 points plus, right? Almost 19 points. So this, you know, this is spread of 9.5. This, this is something that can be covered easily. Um, especially if, uh, uh, if at least one of their stars will be playing. At least Middleton, Yanis. Um, or Drew Holiday, man, um, Milwaukee Bucks should actually uh, take this one easily. Especially Orlando Magic is actually losing or not having um, a lot of their players. Also, they are in a you know they are in a long losing long losing slump. I know for some their logic and their philosophy is um, you know the losing slump would should end sometime, and that is correct, of course. Um, uh, all slums actually end, but I just don't think uh, they would be, you know, they would be ending it against Milwaukee Bucks. You know, the, you know what I'm saying? So I guess Milwaukee Bucks will actually win this one. At the same time, we'll go ahead and cover the spread of minus 9.5. So our take, Milwaukee minus 9.5. Peace out, pase love, and God bless.